So we're heading uh, back in from a day at the Dells. Uh, downtown, we saw a bunch of shops. Of course, me being me, I went uh, into an arcade. Actually won a prize at the arcade, if you see this extra third <laughs> wheel back here. This extra terrestrial. Extra. Well, I won him, and now I think he's just gonna be our, the rest of the trip's mascot. Okay, so Have his little introduce, two bits. Introduce him as, what's his name? Paul. Okay, <laughs> it's Sunday morning and we had a really bad storm last night. I think it was about four o'clock it started and uh, you can hear the tree demolition people. <laughs> about 4.30 until about 5.30, it was bad. Like all kinds of trees fell down. There's stuff everywhere. Um, and I did not sleep very well. But I'm gonna show you how bad this damage is. It could have been worse, but. Along with all of the trees, and it didn't, I don't think it did any damage to the trailer, but the outside cooking area, the flap got blown open. Oh, really? So it was probably just open, I don't know how long. But this morning it was open. Mike told me about it. Is it broken? Have you checked no. it? No, it's good. Yeah, it held up. So that's with the winds how they were and it being up like that. I wonder if there's any in, like, pop it off. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there's any water in there since the windows are open. Um, yeah, that's something else to check. <laughs> but John's working on getting all the twigs and small branches out of the yard. Just kind of show you this is the neighbor's house. And this tree almost fell on their house. It's pretty bad. Like pretty pretty nasty so this is where we sleep in the basement and I was woken up because there were really thick branches hitting the glass scare the crap out of us there's some of the debris that we put together um, they did a lot of cleanup earlier because a lot of this stuff was gone and then there's another neighbor I don't know if you can tell from here but big old branch just fell over their stairs right there. So like I said, you can tell my eyes are super puffy, but they, they done a lot of cleanup since I've gotten out here because when I was up around six o'clock, I came and looked out and it was really bad. Like all the neighbor's lawn furniture was over here and the flag was over here and it was madness. And like some of the stuff over here was thrown away, like thrown. It was like hurricane force winds. It was freaking wild. I think everybody's safe. There's no like serious damage. So that's good. There it goes. Whoa. That was wild. Did you get it? Yes. Why was that so terrifying? That was very terrifying. <laughs> we were all the way over here and I was so scared. <laughs> so we're coming up from the lake and we see that Mike and Sue are watching our video. <laughs> Their little big old window. Yeah. <laughs> How funny. Okay, we just stopped on the side of the road to this produce place and they have um, a huge kids area. I don't know how to explain it. But they have fresh berries, so we're gonna go see what they have. And I see a um, garden tunnel, and there's so many tomatoes over there. It's crazy. Let's go see. So that's like the kids area. It's really cool. And then just how pretty this place is. Hey. What? Those tomatoes are in pants. Um. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at all these lilies about to pop open over there. Look how huge they're those pretty, are. They're pretty intense. Okay. Both ways. Those are pretty wood carvings. They have corn. Yum. Potatoes. That's cool. Because I feel weird buying a whole one. <laughs> Strawberry rhubarb. Oh, yum. 
John wants a picture with the elephant. There's stairs over here where you can mount. Beautiful. Okay, it's Saturday morning, and we are going to Madison, which is about an hour away, and try to see if there's a farmer's market. Go to State Capitol and go to Barnes and Noble, eat lunch, and just see what else we can do today. So I don't know. I don't know what John has up his sleeve. We're bringing Paul with us. Yeah, it's a Wisconsin trip. <laughs> Hello. situations where you have to like wait for the people to get to their car to get out <laughs> it's so packed but we found a spot so praise the lord it wasn't horrible john asked where the baby bjorn was for paul so we're gonna park in this teeny tiny little space and get out and go to the farmer's market there's like a concrete filler right here we almost scrape yeah we almost scraped this car too cool 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 To the veterans wisconsin veterans museum it's free i'm mainly looking for magnets but we're just gonna see what it has to offer but i need this shirt
Whoa. <laughs> you didn't know that was there? No. <laughs> it's behind this eagle in my chair here. Hawaiian grass skirt brought home by Rhoda Ann Zeisler. That's really cool. Mail to Marie Kuhn by Brother Joseph of Milwaukee, my station in France during World War I. That's gorgeous. It's pretty. This is amazing museum. This is wild. So you came at the end of this one and started yeah. this one. They're out of order. Oh, they're out of order. So is Iraq keepers? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Because this one left Iraq in 2010. This one left Iraq in 2021. Um, I don't know why they're like that. Interesting. <gasps> no way. The U.S. is cold. And it's 2 11. We're gonna go get some Indian food. Get a park Thai. We're gonna get some Thai food. We're hungry. Let's go. Are you excited? Yes. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted? Yeah.
We're going back to Paul. Look at Paul. He's just chilling. Um, and, Re and I almost called him Reagan. John got a green curry. It was really good. Not exactly what he was thinking, but it was still delicious. So now he is getting a drink from the convenience store. And we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. There's like a mall outside of like downtown area. So we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. I'm looking for a specific book. Hopefully it's there. Uh, and then we'll probably go back because it's three o'clock. Takes about an hour to get back. I'm pretty tired. It's like slightly too hot to be walking around downtown right now. It's like, if it was like five degrees cooler, it'd be perfect. But Wisconsin's going through a heat wave right now. Let's see what is the temperature. According to my car temperature, it's 88 degrees, which I feel like it's a little bit more, it feels more than that because it's a little humid here. But um, yeah, it's just too much to be walking around right now. So, and we're kind of really done. The only thing we were gonna do is go walk to the waterfront, but we drove by it, it's super cool. And yeah, I think we're good. So, here we go. Well, you could have ate all your food. Yeah, but I wanted to save it. I wanted to get to last a couple meals. A couple? John wanted to take face. a face. Optimus Prime. Robobots. There's my movie. All Autobots. <laughs> <laughs> Bumblebee. It's like the White House, but on like falling of fell into the earth. Okay, you want one with Bumblesbee? Bumblesbee. It's crazy. Get the the full like realness of it. This is so many chains wrapped around each other. Pretty epic. So Pretty epic. Holy moly. Somebody did this <laughs> with their hands. With their bare hands. And, well, and some tools, but literally with their bare hands and just their brain. Wow. You're cute. Excellent planning. Jump in. She's so happy with herself. Oh, now Layla's excited. She likes kissing ducks. That was cool. How they landed. July 17th, it's about 12 o'clock, and it's Wednesday, and let me turn this down. We have today, tomorrow, Friday, our last days here in La Belle, the Dells, and tonight 
I am cooking dinner for everybody. So I placed a Walmart order in at in the Dells and I'm gonna probably grab a bite to eat. I'm making, it's called One Pan Lemon Chicken. It's by Downshiftology. I'll put the link of the um, recipe down in the description box. But it's one of my favorite meals. It's light, it's chicken, it's lemon, it's rice. It's so good. And my family makes it a lot and I make it a lot and John loves it. So I'm gonna be making it for our hosts. But it'll be interesting to see how it goes <laughs> cooking in somebody else's kitchen like that. I'm here early, about an hour early. So there's a Ross and a Joann's and a Kohl's right by a Walmart. So I'm just gonna hop in. I don't have any money to spend, but it's sitting in the car for an hour. Little boot slippers. These are kind of cool. Okay, I didn't really find anything that I really wanted. So when you go to Joanne's, and I just remember I need to return something. We've been trying to return something since we went to Athens. So after Joanne's, I'm gonna go inside Walmart, return that, and then maybe it'll be ready by then. I don't know. Well, that was not at all what I thought it would be. The Joann's, like their power was out halfway or something and they didn't even have what I was looking for. And honestly, I didn't want to be in there very much longer anyway. I want to get those markers that you color with. I've seen them all over TikTok, but there's a few packs in there. I just don't know. stuff and I'm prepping it so let me put this over here it's got the chicken in a bowl so I'm just preparing the marinade it's 2 30 it'll probably marinate for an hour and a half but it's better to do this overnight I love this recipe because it's not a lot of ingredients really it's one one pan so I love the one pan recipes look at this massive garlic this is one clove so I'm doubling the recipe because um, I have 10 chicken breasts and I'm just going to go ahead and make them all because we will eat it. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't really record any of the cooking <laughs> or the meal, but it was good and they seemed to like it. John, do you think that they liked the dinner? They ate all of it. They ate all of it. They said it was good. What do you think? It's a win in my book. It's a win in his book. So I didn't record any of the cooking, but I think it was good. So we're going to do the rest of the night. Sue's making some monkey bread. We're going to do that in a fire because it's like chilly. Jade, Layla. Hopefully we'll do that and then call it a day. sitting here all morning editing a video and he keeps coming over here but he's pissed that I'm this close and anytime I try to get my camera to record him he gets fluttered away 
So I wanted to grab them on the video. His little feeder is right there. I put a little orange jam in there. So it's pretty close to me. But he keeps coming over here and then flying off. Who thinks I should grow out my gray hair? Because I'm so sick of keeping up with it. Friday, I don't know, July 19th. And it's our last full day here in Lavelle or Wisconsin Dells. And she's upset she can't go outside with her dad. <laughs> um, John and Uncle Mike are working on the brakes to see if they can fix them themselves. And then this morning I've been slowly taking stuff to the trailer and cleaning up and getting our stuff together. Jay. Just cleaning up the basement, putting our stuff together, putting it in the trailer, um, because we're gonna have to get up a little bit early to get to Green Bay, do the tour, and then go to Besmer. So that's tomorrow. And then for dinner tonight, we're gonna go to a place um, called the Broken Spur, I think, and for Friday Fish Fry. So I'm excited about that. Anybody else have needy dogs? Because we have definitely have two. Oh, and I'm also doing laundry, which I have about four minutes left on my current load. And then um, I have about two and a half-ish loads to do. So that'll be good. We'll get all of the stuff done, all the stuff clean before we go on the road. Yeah. That's it. I wasn't sure I had it. <laughs> Look at all this. So what kind we got? Cheddar. Cranberry Chipotle. Baby, look at this. Chipotle Cheddar. Mon Monastery. Gouda. I really have no idea. 
French Fontina, H Fontina, Apple it's Smoked. Another soft cheese. Fontina did Province. Chad. Bria cheese. Babe, I want to go in and go. Oh my gosh. John. You need to get this for Mike. <laughs> hey, they have your, your beer. We should get you some. What is it? The Fontina cheese. Mmm. That's good. It tastes like Parmesan, kind of. We just stopped in that little cheese factory or cheese shop <laughs> and we got some butter some cow butter we got a spreadable a spicy beer spreadable cheese and then a gouda so what we got a gouda, a gouda. and it's a uh, spicy beer beer cheese so that's what we got we're gonna take a picture of this thing how chipotle cute chipotle cheddar chipotle cheddar chipotle okay <laughs> We are walking in to dinner. It's Fish Friday, Fish Fry Friday. New place, it's called the Broken Spur.